Any questions now? Yes, please go ahead. Um, yes, you just said it was like an acrobatic, no, almost impossible. Um, but does the doing this act of hope not then help and re realize this sort of purification that we don't put all our hope in the things of the world, that we can be detached, you know? It's not just our own, just because we, I mean, yes, we make the decision to make that act of hope, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're not still involved with our heart somewhere. Yeah. So doesn't God help us then to, I guess, purify that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. very act in a way? Absolutely. Let me, yes, thank you for your question. That's very important. In the beginning, our heart is not taken totally by uh, by the goal. And in a way, it's through repeating the act that we are purified and our hope is refined day after day. But the act itself of giving or choosing Jesus and nothing else, as St. John of the Cross says, can be achieved from now in the sense. I'll give you an example. Uh, I am, uh, I don't know, I am a normal person. Uh, I have, uh, I don't know, family, job, community, uh, neighborhood. But I notice that my heart goes um, in this or that. Like you could be a priest, you could be a monk, you could be a nun. Don't worry, your heart goes horizontally. That's very easy, it happens. Uh, in the community, in the problems of community, in... Uh, um, in the um, service you're doing or ministry you're offering and so forth that's there so Jesus I notice that my heart um, is weak and I'm taken by this issue and I could see it no when I'm saying it I see it in in me so what is the act then the act is to sort of gather all my energy and this in my humble view, it's supposed to be done, it's supposed to be made, can be made every day, more than once. So this is the, the vigor uh, or, or the vigorous act, which is, okay, I am aware of my weakness. I am aware that I am taken by this or that um, issue, job, health, family, you know, name it. But help me and i'm giving you everything i'm offering you all that is taking my heart so what am i doing instead of having strings coming out of my heart connected to the issues which worry or take the energy of my heart right now i'm making an act what do i do i say okay jesus forgive me i'm sorry for this i'm sorry for that and i cut by doing this, these are strings here. I just cut them and bring them back to me and they offer all my being to him and say, Jesus, you are my only hope. I know that I am weak when I'm doing it. I am totally weak when I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Uh, um, it's painful, but I'm doing it. Uh, I know you, you want me to, 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 to desire you, to desire to be united to you, but in the same time, you know, I get involved. Of course, when you walk, you, you have, when you walk in during the day, you have dust. You have to wash after. No, it's inevitable. Yeah? We wash every day, uh, more than once a day. Why? Because living dusts ourselves, no? Dirties ourselves. It's inevitable. When we get involved, we, 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 there is dust. But now I stop at a certain moment and I say, okay, I am weak, I am attached, but I decide, and I'm telling you, and this is my prayer, and this is my act, I want you above everything else. Help me, you see? So I'm not denying my weakness. I'm not denying the fact that my heart is taken, but I acknowledge the fact that I can do the act right now. It is an act, total act, made today. It doesn't have maybe the final perfection, but it has a perfection because it is entire proportionate to, to where I am, but it is my act. I don't have other things to give. I gave everything, you see? So I acknowledged that I am attached. I asked his help. I, I, I gathered all my energy, and this is my decision. 
I'm using the general help of the grace of God. It's my decision. I'm learning from the teaching of St. John of the Cross, for instance, just to, to, for the sake to, uh, of mentioning him. I'm learning from him and I'm doing this act. I'm gathering all my energy and I am uh, offering it to you. It's like uh, the, the beautiful uh, example we have in the gospel. No, uh, This person who found a treasure uh, in a field, so he sold everything and bought the field. That's you can see it. I'm not saying it is, but uh, you can see it as an illustration of the act of hope. But then, will this very act and this repetition of acts, as you say, that becomes a habit, you grow. Will that then also make us less attached? Of course, of course. Over time, yeah. Of course, of course. Okay. Uh, that's the answer to your question. Yeah. Uh, the, the direct answer to your question. Absolutely yes, because the more you do it, it's like exercise. The more you do it, the muscle grows. The, the more you do this act, the more the divine life enters in you, purifies you, unifies your heart, draws your heart closer to him. So you are not anymore the same person. So every time you do it, you're not the same person anymore. You're, you are getting closer and closer and closer and closer. You see, of course, we are transformed and purified. Hence, the necessity of repeating the act. Otherwise, you say, yes, I hope. And you sit there and you say, yes, my hope is the union with, with, with Jesus. But you are not making the act of, uh, of hope. The act of hope mm -hmm. is, is a very tough act, by the way, because you are getting rid of the other hopes, which are good. They're not bad. If I hope for a good health, that's good. If I hope for um, a, a good uh, family life, that's good. That's not bad. If I uh, hope for success, that's good. That's not bad. You see? This is why I, talk, I took too much, that so, so much time to explain the idea of uh, the council when they said you need to be, get involved and so forth. It's not bad. But if it takes your heart, that's not what the council said. It shouldn't take your heart. You belong to Jesus. So repeating the act, gathering all your energy is possible right now. We can do it. It's tough. It, it's um, It's painful sometimes because... You are attached to a person, you are attached to a job, you are attached in hopes, not in hope, in hopes. Uh, you want to, uh, to progress in your work, you want to achieve a certain project, you want to see your child uh, succeeding, uh, you, you know, legitimate. And he, how cr it is cruel in a way, it is cruel in a way, humanly speaking, because you have to say, okay, all this is good, but I give it to you. Because you are above everything and you and you want to give yourself to me um, in this life. So when I do it, I, I, I progressed. Progressed means transformation, sanctification, purification, you know, add all the, it's the transformation. You know? So, of course, I'm different. And it's important to repeat this act, because if I don't repeat this act. It's a disaster. I don't have other words. We our hope is not consistent. It's 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 um, flimsy. It's nothing. It's it's thin air. Because we're not making the act. The act is painful. The act, in in this sense, painful. I'm not uh, seeking pain uh, at all. Uh, but it's painful because I'm a human being, because I have feelings, because I have attachment, and, and these are good things and not bad things. I'm not talking about my sins. I'm not saying, oh, I would like to sin, no? Uh, or sadly, I would have to renounce to sin, or oh, that's painful. No, I, I'm loving my child. I'm loving my dad. I'm loving my, um, uh, my, my job. I'm loving my whatever, you know, the list is long. They're, they're good things. Who, can, who on earth can ask you not to? But let us go back to the, the, the first commandment. Give me all your heart. We're not giving the whole heart. We always give part of it. That's the tragic thing. The, the, the fundamental problem is here. The first commandment is not understood. And the connection between the first and the second is not understood. If you gave all your heart, how can you love your neighbor with your heart? It's, it's God who teaches you, who, who, who moves you and, and asks you to, to love, but with his energy, not with yours. It changes the equation completely. So yes, 
bottom line, answering your question, it is necessary to make the act of uh, hope when we make it and we can, we should repeat it as, as many times as, as needed without falling into a, a frenetic, uh, a crazy, uh, um, obsessive uh, way, uh, reasonably. Uh, uh, and, um, and by doing it, we grow, we draw closer and the thirst grows, be careful. The thirst for Jesus will grow because the emptiness of that the purification realizes is incredibly painful because the bride becomes ready for union, but there is no union. So it's emptiness. The expectation is huge, but there is no realization yet. So one needs to expect that this hope grows. And then, yes, uh, the bride is prepared. Uh, bright to be is prepared and then then yes she can she can be united so the purification creates uh, um, uh, in a way a vacuum from the horizontal hopes uh, but that's good that's not bad so if somebody by making these acts finds himself or herself a bit alien to the world that's normal because the palate changes the taste for for the true things um, is growing and of course, the other tastes are vanishing. That's normal. You don't have any more the same friends. You don't have any more the same goals, the same things you like to do or watch or play or whatever. Entertainment, relaxation, whatever. <clears throat> All these changes. Uh, and this uh, vacuum, I would say, this emptiness, uh, which is a preparation and not a, an absence of God. It's just a preparation for union. It grows and becomes even more, more, so to speak, um, painful. Because you said that that once, you know, that this vacuum has happened and then union is achievable in this life. Mm -hmm. So then in a way you've achieved your main hope, but you haven't died yet. Eternal life is still there. So what then comes after? Some, there has to be a goal that replaces, I guess, yeah. that hope. Yeah. Is it then hope for your, for, let's say, instead of for the head, for the body, or? Yeah, yeah. As you hoped to be united to the, to, you're correct. Sorry to interrupt you. As you hoped for, for the head, to be united to the head, then you become aware with this new power, this, this charity which continues to grow, which allows us to carry uh, our brothers and sisters it's not with our strength it's with it is with god's strength because we are very weak we we can fall and do disasters no saint Therese of the child jesus remember no she says if without the grace of god i would have became a big sinner and by sinner she's alluding to uh, a prostitute she, she, it's her saying not me so um the charity grows and of course charity means that um having god's greater strength in us uh, therefore the union uh, suddenly surprises us and shows us that uh, we are invited to be uh, united or to work for uh, the reunion of the body of christ's body uh, all our brothers and sisters who are far from him mm -hmm. in different ways but here because of the quality of the charity, the work is of a completely another league. Uh, read uh, Saint Therese of the Child Jesus manuscript. See how she describes uh, the her, her dynamic prayer, powerful prayer. Uh, Draw me, and we will run. Uh, but doesn't mean that we, we don't do anything. We we can be doing other things also. So, yes, union with Jesus after it or during this new state of life suddenly uh, new horizons are opened uh, he opens new horizons as saint john of the cross toward the end of spiritual canticle mentions it very briefly unfortunately he says that um the groom shows the bride now she's a bride uh, shows the bride the mysteries of his incarnation and the mysteries of his redemption in the sense how he saved the world and now he wants her, it's like taking her hand, her hand and his hand together, working in the um, in a new job, a new work, a salvation of, of the world. But this is just uh, another leak. 
So yes, this is, I would say, a hope in a hope, like the uh, Russian um, adults. Um, it's the hope in the hope. Uh, once we are united with Jesus, he then shows us not only what we were supposed to be do to reach it, doing it to reach it, which is different stages of growth in charity, in, in, in helping our, our brothers and sisters, bearing them and forgiving and so forth. But then suddenly uh, a new horizons opens and the goal then becomes the big union, not the small union. Uh, it's, as I said, it's like the Russian dolls, one inside of the other. It's not a different goal, it's just inside of the actual goal. So union becomes, um, union with Jesus becomes, um, uh, I would say, an, an immense, uh, quote-unquote, scary uh, uh, thing in the sense that it's, um, it's a union with his entire body, but his entire body is not united to him. So imagine this sort of uh, um, other gymnastic, other acrobatic uh, thing. Okay.